Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wanted to know how popular your kissing habits are? Because I have. I'm going to be doing a bunch of buzz quiz, buzz quiz, buzz quiz quizzes, a Buzzfeed quiz, and I'm going to be doing a few of them, just the ones that I think are the most ridiculous. Sorry about my phone, I'm popular. Most of them are just so ridiculous I had to try them out. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to try out is how popular are your kissing habits because I, I, it keeps me up at night thinking about how popular my kissing habits are and I just need to know the truth. Which cutesy, cutesy, I can't talk today, which cutesy kiss do you prefer? Forehead kiss or nose kiss? I would say forehead kiss. How do you tilt, oh? Apparently 93 people prefer to kiss foreheads instead of noses. I don't blame you. How do you tilt your head when you have when you kiss? To the left, to the right? I don't know. I think I kind of I don't know. It depends. I'm gonna say to the right just because I'm right-handed, I don't know. I feel like I could do a bit of both, but apparently most people go right, so I must be normal. What do you do with your eyes when you smooch? Close them, keep them open. <laughs> Who keeps their eyes open when they kiss? Oh my god, okay. I close them like a normal person because I'm not a serial killer. 4% of people keep their eyes open when they kiss. That's terrifying. Do you usually initiate, ini initiate or receive kisses? Sometimes I initiate them, usually when I'm really, really drunk, and then other times most of the time they're received I guess so I would go for receive. Have you ever full-on French kissed in public? Yeah. Yeah I have. What's worse coffee breath or morning breath? Mm, morning breath I'd say because coffee is nice. I hate coffee breath but morning breath is definitely worse. Do you ever nibble or gently bite when you kiss? No. No I don't. <laughs> so I just Oh, apparently I'm not the majority. Apparently I need to start biting lips. How much tongue do you use when kissing? No tongue, just a little. <laughs> I feel like I'm telling you guys too much right now. Soz. Uh, no tongue, just a little. About 50% a whole lot of tongue. <laughs> no. Um, I would say no tongue. Or well, sometimes just a... I don't know. I'll say no tongue. I don't like tongue, okay? Kissing plus lipstick, gross, good. Um, I do it all the time when I'm out clubbing, so it's it's fine. I mean, it probably goes all over him, and I know from experience that I come away from the kiss and it's all gone. So, it's just been demolished. <laughs> so, that's the only reason that it sucks, but it's not gross. Where do you place your hands when kissing? Gently on their face, around their neck, around their back, on their booty. <laughs> um, I would say around their neck. I'm normal. Thank God. Thank God. So I'm really glad to know that I'm kind of normal in most of my kissing techniques. Apparently I need to start biting more, so I will try that in the future. I will start biting people. I won't. I won't. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not my, um... My kink. Okay, so let's see what other quizzes BuzzFeed has that so I really, really need to know the answer to. Okay, I'm gonna see if I'm totally a mum. Or totally a mom. You're totally a mom if you pass this quiz. So let's see if I'm a mum. If I pass. Ready? I really want to know if I'm a mum. Because, you know, I, I wouldn't know otherwise. Have you ever worn clothes with puke on them in public? Does being clubbing and throwing up on yourself count? Because I think so, that's still public, so yes, quite often, sadly. <laughs> what do you think about when you hear the word blowout? Uh, <laughs> my option's not on here. Maybe I'm dirty minded, okay. Uh, something you get at a hair salon, a diaper explosion. I'm not really sure, I think it's something to do with winning a game. I mean, I know that if I click the diaper one, that that's gonna say that I'm a mum but I'm gonna go for the one that it would probably be. Do you know what a lovey is? No I don't. 
Huh, speak English please. How much laundry do you do? Quite a lot for myself actually. Um, I do it once a week though. I would say. Have you ever cut the crust of someone else's sandwich? Yeah, I used to do it for my sister sometimes and sometimes for myself but now I eat crust that I'm older so yeah. You got, you are certainly not a mother. No way. Hell no. <laughs> this is disgraceful. I actually have two children, so I am triggered. I just find these quizzes so funny, like, they're so pointless and it's like, why would you take these quizzes as something that you actually want to do? Like, some of them are so ridiculous, I can't even. Tell us your zodiac sign and we'll tell you who play you in the movie of your life. Who's gonna play me in a movie of my life? What's your sign? I am Capricorn, although the star signs changed so now I'm a Sagittarius, but I'm gonna go with Capricorn because I've always been a Capricorn and I'm not changing it, bitch. Yeah. You got Tom Hanks. Yeah, I think Tom Hanks would make a good Rebecca Sayers. Um, he looks like me um, in the moustache area. Um, I can really see that we bear a lot of similarities and I think he'd really be able to capture my essence and portray my life story in a way that no other actor could do. I'm really glad that I did this quiz and I know that Tom Hanks would be the right person to play me in my life story. And that's good. I'm really happy with this information. I feel like I can now take this out into the real world and I can really use this knowledge in my everyday life. So uh, I hope that you guys are enlightened with this new information on me. Um, just know that I'm quite an average kisser other than biting. Songs. Sorry that this is a weird random video but I just saw someone else make a video like this and it was just like I've always found buzz quiz buzz quiz why do I keep saying that buzzfeed quizzes to be so hilarious and just pointless and so stupid so I hope that you enjoyed this video you can give it a like and you can comment and you can subscribe and all that kind of jazz I was about to say something else which would have been bad to say <laughs> slip of the tongue I swear and <laughs> you can also turn on my notifications which are I was gonna say downstairs I don't know why they are down next to the subscribe box there's a little bell and you click it and then every time I post you'll get a little thing that says that I've uploaded so I'd appreciate that and again I'm trying to hit 150 subscribers I'm nearly there so if you enjoy any of my content for whatever reason you can go ahead and you can subscribe. So thank you very much and I will see you guys next week for yet again another pointless video that hopefully is kind of entertaining on some kind of level. Okay, bye.